Hello, my name is Gene Arnold, Senior Sales Engineer for Tipco Jaspersoft. In this video, you'll see how to connect Jasper Report Server to a data source created in Tipco Data Virtualization Studio. Inside of the Data Virtualization Studio, you can take a look at all the different data sources that have been published. In this example, we'll be focusing on the Intro Demo data source. That data source has a catalog and a schema that you can see right here. Inside of the schema, we've got two tables exposed, customer activity customized and customer activity customized test. Notice when we open up these tables, you can take a look at all the fields and some demo data that'll be available for Jaspersoft. Now let's move over to Jasper Report Server and connect to this data source. It's exposed as an ordinary JDBC data source and we're using a pre-release driver in this video, but in Jasper Report Server 7, there'll be a driver dedicated directly to connect to the TIPCO data virtualization service. But the URL is a standard URL, the location of the data source, the, um, the data source, the database name, you'll put in your username and password. Again, it's just a standard JDBC data source, which is very easy to use. You'll give it a data source name, and a location in Jasper Report Server to store this. Again, connecting to this data source is just like connecting to any other JDBC data source. Now with this new data source, let's go create a domain. In traditional Jasper Report Server style, you'll give it a name, a location to save this domain, and of course the, uh, the data source that we want to connect this domain to, and obviously we'll connect to the new data source that we created that is going to our intro demo data source. We'll go into the domain designer and like always you're presented with the schema that you need to connect to and here's that schema in the studio okay just connecting the dots for you over here we'll connect to that schema and there are two tables that are being exposed they're actually identical tables I just created a second one so you could see a second table being exposed. They both provide the same data, so we'll just choose the top one and move forward. Since there is only one table, there really isn't any reason to create any joins. We're just looking to show you how you can connect to a data source. I'll choose all of the fields that are exposed in that table and make that part of our domain. And you'll see how this domain is going to be used in just a moment to actually create a ad hoc view. After clicking on OK and Submit, we'll now save this domain. Now let's go and create an ad hoc view. We'll choose the new domain that we created. We'll also choose all of the fields for this example. And in this example, we're going to create a pie chart with a field and a measure. Now, though this example is very simple, Please understand that Jaspersoft sees this data source as a regular JDBC data source. Behind the scenes, in the data virtualization layers, this could be a very complex creation of data, pulling back data from multiple tables, from multiple databases, maybe even web services, uh, and flat files. The end result is a standard data source bringing back data that's very easy to use. That was a pie chart, and here's a table. It's seamless and very simple to use, and Jaspersoft works great with the TIPCO data virtualization service.